Good afternoon, Christers. Good afternoon, YouTube. Good afternoon, Silver Forum. Yeah, one of my subscribers was talking about uh, the lower value gold coins because not everyone can afford the one ounce Britannias and 50 peso gold coins. And that's where I'm going to go back to. I, I couldn't afford them, but. I've been buying and selling coins and I hold on because you, you've got to have some patience. You can't just sell overnight. So the price of gold or silver will go up or it'll go down. You've got to be patient. Then you can sell on your smaller coins and move up a level. That's how it is. It's hard, but that's what I've done over the last four or five years. I have been buying silver and selling silver and commemorative coins, very lucrative 50p coins, just basic coins you find in your change. You can, if you can make 100% profit, mark up, that's good. Sometimes you don't make that on gold or silver. So commemorative coins, you can make uh, some money, profit. But... Uh, we're going to have a look at some smaller coins and what you can do. So you start off small just like I did and work your way up. But I have uh, Grumpy Dave to help me. You know what he's like. He likes. He started off buying me with the smaller coins and we've moved up a level. It's the same for everyone. Everyone can do it and everyone can afford coins this size. So that's one tenth ounce of gold. One tenth. Well, people can afford that every month if they're working. And that's what I've done. I bought one tenth ounce coins. That's all I could afford. But when I've uh, come to sell, the profits you don't spend, they go straight back in and move up a level. So that's a quarter ounce, as big as your thumbnail. They're not very big. In fact, that I had to say that's why I wanted to move on and sell most of my one tenth ounce gold coins. But these are very affordable for anybody who wants to get into buying gold and holding gold. That's the key. Hold on to it. Don't sell unless you're in the position where you have to. So then we've moved on to coins. This is an unusual coin. It's a quarter ounce bullion coin, but it came out and there wasn't many of them because it was made for the American market. Now, they're everywhere in Britain. But this was the first year it was released. It's the gold standard coin. 2018, I think it is. So we now have a 2018, 2019, 2020. It's that Geos pattern again that everyone seems to like or prefer on their gold coins. So that's what you can move up to. You with your one tenth coins if you sold them for a profit. There's another coin, gold ducat from the Netherlands. These are all small coins that are affordable once you've moved up a level. So you take some profit on your one tenth gold and just move up to the next level. And then you can you can afford the quarter ounce Britannia maybe or is it too expensive? Britannia is very popular in the United Kingdom. Quarter ounce is, is a, f a hefty price. At the moment it is anyway because gold has uh, rocked it. I'm not buying at the moment. It's a seller's market for me. That's just my opinion. Uh, you could afford the half sovereigns. 
These are cheaper than the quarter Britannias. So half sovereigns, they're a good, uh, good, good to purchase. Good for investing in, holding. Again, only my opinion. Another half sovereign there, little half sovereign. Very affordable. If you've uh, collected some one tenth ounce coin, gold coins, and you've sold them on for a bit of profit, you can move up to half sovereigns. I can afford, maybe you can afford the small platinum coins. These are one tenth platinum. So I haven't got much platinum in my collection. I've only got three coins, two one tenths and a quarter ounce. But you've got to start somewhere, like I said, I started with a one tenth ounce gold coins. It's do not spend your profits. Invest back in the uh, You never know what gold or silver is going to do. It can go up and it can go down. So these are a few more coins. Halves of. I can't see what the date is. I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> a lot of people there uh, early on just like the. Uh, Queen's Beasts, bullion coins. Now, if you've got them at a decent price, they've now, uh, you know, gold's gone up, so they are a, there's a bit of, a lot of profit in there, the quarter ounce bullion, because a lot of people are after them. Very popular. So I've only got a couple. I've got the Yale, Yale of Beaufort, and uh, I've got another one somewhere. I think it's the, uh, the Falcon, the Falcon of the Plantagenets, gold bullion, affordable, so remember to start off low with your one tenths, there's another coin, it's a French franc, oh, sorry a Swiss franc, Helvetia. There you go. Helvetia. So tell me what you think, Coinsters. What do you do? I've told you what I do. So I, I'll start small and keep holding until the price goes up. Then sell you smaller gold. But don't spend the profits. By uh, Move up to the next level. And that's what you've got to do. You start off small and move your way up. Climb the ladder slowly. Have patience. Any money or profit you make, put back, put back in and move, move up. Other people have different ideas of doing things, but that's I'm just telling you what I do. And uh, Grumpy Dave, that's what we do. We're uh, we're running out of time. We won't be here forever. We haven't got a long. Uh, lifespan left but we're trying to make the most of our retirement so this is my retirement pot we're hoping it gets us through because you never know in the world what's going on especially nowadays we don't know what's coming anyway i've rabbited on for too long coinsters it's goodbye from me coinsters you know i love coins Mate.